Yeah, right now it's completely dry motor, so you don't want to start a dry motor. Yeah. Back to back from the dead. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What are we doing today? Putting the fluids back in it so I can start it. Fluids back in it? Yeah. Cool. That means like we're almost done. Yep. Fluid time! What's the first fluid? Putting water in the radiator. Water? I don't want to put antifreeze because just in case I have a leak. Yeah. I don't want antifreeze going all over the place. I so I'm going to put water in. And then I'll change it to antifreeze later on. Yeah, because antifreeze, that shit doesn't dry up. No. Distilled water. Yeah. Yeah, you don't wanna you don't wanna put regular water in there, right? No. Regular water could uh, corrode the inside of your radiator and inside of your engine. Yeah. Distilled water. Won't do that. Yep. Cool. So we're just gonna do basically the same stuff that what I did to G, right? Yeah. Except I'm gonna need to put a lot more in because she's empty. Oh yeah, good call. I'll actually show this page. This is a sweet page. There's the cool one. Takes 7.3 quarts. Japanese. Because it's JDM. Funnel. Funnel. Pit cock is tight. Yep. Did you check it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I remember when I was down there the other night, I checked it. Alright. Just be safe. <laughs> Alright, is it dumping out? I'll stop. It is water, though. That's it. This yeah, is why water. we're doing water. <laughs> I think it, the radiator's full, but I think it's going through the tube now back in the end. Good. That's why it's bubbling and taking so long. Uh oh Cool. And then that'll that'll be good enough to start it. It'll suck some down once the engine starts running. So we should top this off too. Yeah, put a little bit there. Guess what time it is? Motor start time? Oil time. Uh, oil time. <laughs> How many quarts does this thing take? Great question. <laughs> okay, where's your manual? Oil is up here. This is the 2.0 liter. With oil filter replacement, 3.7. Cool. Fuck, I need to get back on the car. Oh, you didn't plug it up? I think you put the oil filter on here. Alright, so I'm underneath the car right now. Over here's the alternator. That's the bottom of my intake where the little intake bracket. And that right there is where the oil filter goes. So I'm gonna screw that on now. And you can uh you don't need to tighten these too much, you can just hand tighten it. And it's good. Word. Alright, so the car is lowered. Yep. What are you doing now? Got the spark plugs out. The uh, fuel injectors are unplugged. So I don't want any fuel getting in there. I don't want to flood the engine. Because I'm not actually firing it yet. I'm just lubing it up. We're just sort of turning it over, right? Yeah, I just want to get oil in it, and then crank everything, get everything moving, and get it all lubed. Hmm. We're going to be putting the oil in here, yep. right? But we're actually going to be putting a little bit of oil into each one of these, right? Into where the spark plugs go. Yeah. Yeah, just because it goes directly down to the pistons and everything, and we're going to be turning it over, and it doesn't really want to turn, so... You definitely need to disconnect all of the injectors and everything, otherwise, yeah, no good. Yeah, right now it's completely dry motor, so you don't want to start a dry motor. Yeah. Cool. This is exciting. Tell me about it. Fuck yeah. Cool. And it's 10W30. 10W30 is what I've always used. Hmm. Owner manual stuff. Yep. Cool. 3.7 quarts. 
Hmm. And these lovely containers have a nice little level on the side here. Yeah. A little bit more. Yep, that's about good. We got one quart left, so just got right around four in there. Check the dipstick. Check the dipstick. Let it settle for a minute. I don't know, it's like cleaning. Yeah. Good. Good. This dipstick hasn't seen oil in a long time. Exactly. It's been a while since my dipstick's been wet. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, sir. Alright, we are full. Perfect. Do you know what that means? It means we put some oil in the suckers and we turn this yeah. sucker over. Little drop down each one of these. Just a little bit, you don't want to flood it. Spark plugs are out. Pulleys are on. Wires are hooked up. Plug the battery back in. One more a little spew all over the place. Cap back on. Alright, you'll probably need to come over here because I'm going to show you the fact that the oil light is on. Word. All right, now when we get oil pressure, the oil light should go off. Here we go. Hmm. There she goes. She went out, but she came back on again. Let's try it one more time. Oh yeah, she's good. Yeah? Yep. Sweet. Oil light went out. Awesome. Got pressure. Got pressure. Now you get to plug everything back in. Spark plugs, now, injectors. Yep, I'm gonna start with the injectors just to get them out of the way before I forget. Mm -hmm. Uno. Get out of my way. I'll plug you back in later. Mm -hmm. Oops. Trace. Macho. <laughs> are you doing that? What, are, what are these? These are my spark plugs. I haven't even opened them yet. I got them like two months ago. Awesome. Ah. This is what medieval wanted. Oh, those are the ones I bought. These are iridium. They're supposedly the best ones out there. Yeah. So, manual says that they need to be 0 0.04. To a point zero four three gap. You got these pre gapped right? Yeah, I ordered them specifically for this car, so they so, should come pre gapped These lovely spark plug sockets have a little rubber gasket in there that spark plug snaps into, so that way it doesn't drop. Cool. 
Uno. This is the coil pack, and this is the spark plug wire. Hmm. Yeah. Just like the spark plug wire, it will pop. We get to see if it starts. We get to see if it starts because oh, the odds, are, like, there's like a, a at least a hundred things that we've done. <laughs> so <laughs> when there's at least a hundred things that you've done, there's a, there's a good possibility that one is missing. But I got confidence in myself. Let's see. Yeah, I, I think we did it. I think this thing's gonna turn on. Gonna we should it. probably open this garage door. I'm just gonna crack it. I'm See if we can turn this sucker around. Oh, it's so scary. Oh. You ready? Yeah. It's gonna be a sound I haven't heard in a while. Three, two, one. Okay guys, 
So, uh, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Mills Garage. We just built an engine. It runs. And we've got lots more car content coming up. So if you like the video, make sure to click below, leave your comments below, and click the subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Yeah. You. <laughs> <laughs> Mills Garage.